Moving on, the Minister of State for Defense, Dr. Ben Lumetawele, has described retired military officers as nation's assets, saying Nigeria still needs their expertise and wealth of experience to tackle insecurity challenges in the country. The Defense Minister for State was speaking at a dinner in honor of the Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, organized by members of the Nigerian Defense Academy, NDA 38 Regular Course Welfare Association on Saturday in Abuja. Elizabeth Kasham was there and now completes the story. The Defense Minister of State, Dr. Bello Matawale, noted that the nation must learn to tap into their wealth of experience gathered over the years as military officers to reduce foreign patronage. Because they are not yet tired. It's just the matter of maybe retirement by age or maybe by the, in fact, by the Constitution. Therefore, we believe a lot of them have the potentials that the government can be able to use. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, appreciated the association for their tributes, their undiluted support and commitment to ensuring he succeed as defense chief. General Musa said the event also indicated the concession of collective achievements and sacrifices made by the nation's armed forces through the strong allegiance of the brave men and women of the armed forces that had been able to defend and safeguard the country country's peace and stability. Tonight, we come together not only to celebrate my service, but to also acknowledge the collective achievement and sacrifice of our armed forces. It is through the unwavering dedication of our brave men and women in uniform that we have been able to safeguard our nation's security and preserve the peace. Their selfless courage and professionalism are the pillars upon which our defense forces stand today. The CDS added that the commitment of the 38 Regular Cost Welfare Association to the welfare and well-being of the society shows that the initiative remain vital in strengthening the bond between the military and the civilian communities. The president, Regular Cost 38 Welfare Association Major General Solomon Odunwa, said the event was organized to celebrate their journey in the military, which began on September 21, 1986, and also to honor one of their own as an accomplished general who had held all available command instructions and staff appointment and had continued to make the nation proud as a military chief. That journey has seen erstwhile cadets transformed to accomplished generals, to captains of industry, to top politicians, and prominent traditional rulers. The president said the 38 regular cause had lost 34 of their members who started the journey with them 37 years ago. The last one was the former director of defense media operations, late Bernard Oyeko, a retired major general who passed on in August this year. The CDS and his wife, Mrs. Ohoho Musa, were conferred with the patron and patroness of the association. Elizabeth Kasham, ASO Television News.